Now we're also following developing news on this Labor Day out of Kansas City where police are investigating a bizarre death. Overnight, they found a man dead in a wrecked car near Meyer and 71 Highway. He had been shot several times. Caroline Sweeney is live for us now where police made that tragic discovery as police and the victim's family, I know, still want answers. Caroline? Well, Carolyn, these mangled pieces of car are all that is left behind of that crime scene after that crash. Tonight, Kansas City, Missouri police are still piecing together what happened in the moments before they found that man shot in the car, leaving a family to grieve tonight. Um, just to hear the scream of a mo mother and that gut scream. And I, I Rosalind Temple is mad. Yet again, she was standing at the scene of a homicide in the middle of the night, watching a family go through what she went through the night her son was killed. Yes, I'm angry because you hear a scream of a mother. It's just something that's just this that destroys us. It destroys you. The community activist with Mothers in Charge says it's time for the violence to stop. We don't supposed to be burying our children. Our children supposed to bury us. Kansas City police have been to more than 100 homicide cases this year. Temple says most of those deaths are coming from within the African American community. She says things changed when new gun laws went into effect. That opened up a whole nother area. We just don't know who's supposed to have one. It looks so natural, normal for everyone to have a gun. Well, everyone does not need a gun. Now we're still working to get answers about what happened here tonight. So far, Kansas City, Missouri police have not released any suspect information or they haven't told us if the victim in this crime had a gun as well. Rosalind Temple says she's just ready for the violence to stop and for the community to come together. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV5 News. All right, thank you, Caroline. On Friday, police responded to more reports of gunfire on 71 Highway. Chopper 5 was overhead as officers searched that area. A man told them he was at a gas station when bullets struck him and his car. He then drove to 106 in Bell Fountain, where he called 911. So if you have any information about these shootings, you're asked to call the TIPS hotline 474-TIPS is that number.